So today I'm in the Jaeger in ranked in patch 12.8. We're up against a Masashi, a Fodogros, a Pommen, a Donsky, a John Johan de Witt, and an Adriatico. It's WoW's 8th anniversary. And they're giving away some free stuff for points. Now, the Jaeger is a torpedo boat. And you might be thinking, what am I doing in a torpedo boat in ranked? Well, she's very good. <laughs> very, very good. Uh, her torpedoes are insanely fast. Uh, they've got a very quick reload. and They can catch people out. She's also got a detection radius of 5.4 kilometers. And she's quite fast, so she's quite hard to catch. We're going to go for the damage buff. Um, we've got to uh, see regen over there, but uh, I need to light the fleet, and we don't have the luxury of two destroyers, so I'm their eyes at the moment. And although I'd like to think the enemy team would like regen too, I think that quite a few of them are going to be hanging around the middle. Or at least that's my thoughts on it. As you can see, I've already reloaded my torpedoes, and we're only 18 minutes and 50-odd seconds into the game, so let's use them. I'm going to put a spread on here to deter any incoming destroyer from getting the buff. Ah, okay, so we've we've lit their photographs and their pommel. And no sign of a destroyer yet, so I'm just going to float on in, grab the buff, and turn into the island. Use it to do a reverse maneuver so I can light their destroyer, because he's got to be around here somewhere, right? Hopefully trying to avoid my torpedoes has knocked him off course, which is why I got the buff first. At least that's how I like to think that played out. There he is. Yeah, it looks like he took some avoiding action. Okay, he's smoked up and I'm moving away. Right, so we've got a Pommen and a Musashi moving up the 3-4 line. Ferdegross is moving away on the 5 line. Johan de Witt is hanging around the 8 line. And we've got a Donsky on the flank with his 12km radar. I'm just going to chuck some torps on the corner. Because if those two battleships continue to push, I'm bound to hit one of them. Meanwhile, I'd like to keep the Donsky lit for my team. Who have all decided to go for the regen buff. Apart from my good friend in the Andalusia. Who I'm very worried about. He's, he's out of position. I don't think parking a cruiser behind an island in front of three battleships is a good idea. And we've got a score to hit on the Mizashi with a flood. So far, so good. See Adriatico. Oman behind. Can't really stop him. You see, if I was in a gunboat, I would be able to sink that Adriatic now. But the guns are very inadequate on the Jaeger. I say that. I mean, he is supported. He has two battleships in support. I'm not sure I'd open up even in a gunboat because of the risk. They're pushing in now to the cruiser. If he doesn't reverse out of there quick, he's doomed. But I think he's doomed anyway because look what's behind him. But a gross. So...
Okay, another hit and three floods on the Musashi. <laughs> three hits, three floods. Okay. Wow. Someone's sinking fast. Now, in my build, I have gone for the maximum flood percentage chance because these torpedoes on their own don't do a lot of damage. But calculate the flood, throw that into the mix, and suddenly they're very dangerous. So if you can increase your flood percentage, I would recommend, especially on the Jaeger, that you do just that. I got about 15k free extra damage there from flooding, so pretty useful. And I'm already launching more torps at the Musashi. <laughs> Because the reload, as you can see, is insane. I mean, I'm, well, at 45 seconds pre after launch now. Uh, and another three hits and another flood. It's pretty relentless. <laughs> uh, okay, the Adriatico is low. That's one thing uh, our cruiser did, the Antalusia. He, he got the Adriatico very low, which is great, actually. If you're out of position, at least try and hurt the enemy team. He did a good job there, actually. Because if they don't have a destroyer, they'll be blind. And it'll make my job a lot easier knowing that that Adriatico isn't around. God damn it. These guns, honestly. It's the only downside to the Jaeger, really. The torps are great, but the guns are meh. They do get the job done, but you usually end up firing more shells than you expected. Okay, send some torps Pommens way. And there goes another one of our ships. <laughs> oh no, we just lost our Marlborough. Okay. Not good news. Still, I'm having fun. <laughs> Oh, he turned in. He turned away. No, he didn't turn in. Turn in would have been great. He turned away. He's, he's, he's heading off down the five line, six line, joining the Johan de Witt. He's right at the back. They're picking at us. They're picking at us. They're sniping us, picking at us, and slowly dissolving us as a team. So I'm going to need to do something about that. I need to try and get into these guys' heads. Figure out how they think, how they tick, so I can get some solid solid results with the torpedoes. Now, Mr. Mizashi is fairly predictable. He does tend to sail in fairly predictable lines. He's got a lot of torpedo protection, but I've got a lot of torpedoes, so it's only a question of time before I nail him. So, we have Mr. Predictable in the Mizashi, Mr. Unpredictable in the Pommen, Uh, Mr. Ferder Gross, who likes to play it safe, Mr. Sniper. And the Johan de Witt, who again likes to play it safe. He's clearly using long range guns. And uh, oh my goodness. There goes the. There, there he goes. There goes the Mizashi. What happened there? Ferder Gross took out Ariwami. Okay. All right. At least we've pulled up a bit. We can have a few more ships down. The Adriatico has finally succumbed. The Donsky, I don't know what he was doing sitting on a flank. He should have been lighting me, really, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm not complaining at all. No, sir. I, mean, I think I was Mr. Vacant on the flank <laughs> in the Donsky. So Mr. Predictable is gone. Mr. Unpredictable is now pushing into the cap. Clearly wants me dead. And the Johan de Witt is following him. And the Fertigross is flanking. I don't know what to make of the Fertigross yet. Okay. And the second I launch those, he turns. Of course. Mr. Unpredictable. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh well. 
Our Rupert's looking a bit low. Which is a bit of a worry. We don't want him to cap, really, because this is how you win the arms race. If somebody caps, it speeds up the points so much. So I'm going to have to hang around here and do something about it. Luckily, with my conceal, I can stay very close to my target. Where's he going in the pommer? Hmm. What are you thinking, Mr. Unpredict? Well, let's see if we can predict your movement. You're heading towards that island. See that on the minimap. But you're going to want to stay in the circle, aren't you? You're going to want to stay in the circle. You're going to want to defend this circle. So you're quite competitive. You know what you're doing. So I'm going to put all my torques on the corner because I think you're not going to hit that island. I think you're going to slow down and then chuck her in reverse. Let's see if my prediction's right. Let's see if I manage to read Mr. Unpredictable for once. The stops look pretty good, actually. And yes, he's reversing into the cap like I thought he would. Okay, he's doomed. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay, so Mr. Unpredictable suddenly became predictable. Great. That helps our team a lot. So, where are we at? Two ships versus two ships. 108k damage down. I'm pretty happy with that, but I want to win this match for the team. I've got the rune with me, and he's looking very healthy. Very healthy indeed. I've still got two heals, and the enemy are looking a little shot up. So, all things being equal, if we're careful, we can win this. I'm a little concerned about a rune taking on a photocross but well hopefully that won't happen there he is i don't know much about this player because he's been hanging around the h line sniping so i'm not too sure what makes this guy tick which is very important in torpedo boats. You, you're really playing mind games with your enemy. You're trying to predict where to drop the torps. Don't always listen to what the game suggests. Because players will alter their speed, alter their angle. A lot of people now know how to handle torpedo attacks. So you have to predict where you think they're going to be next. Not how they look to be going. A bit like I did on the Pommon earlier. I had a feeling he'd want to stay on cap and he wouldn't turn off and between the islands and away. And I got that one right. The Johan de Witt, he's going behind the island maybe. He's going very slow at it, but yeah. He's safe. I, uh, there's not a lot I can do about that. The Fudder Gross is hunting me. <laughs> he's coming my way. There he is. He's got me lit. Hi. And I imagine he will now turn in hard into that corner because he's aware of the fact he's got a torpedo boat in front of him. So he doesn't want to be torpedoed. So I've got to put my torpedoes tight on that corner if I want to actually score a hit. I'm not even sure I will before he reverses out of that. What's he doing? I'll put one on. Yeah, I'll put a couple of spreads wider as well just in case he throws it forward to, <coughs> to try and avoid Anyway, see what that does. Okay, so we've got the Johan de Witt coming at me. Sneaking through the islands. Stealthily. There you go. So that's another hit. I'll take it and a flood. But of course he's repaired. Did the second spread do anything? Yeah, another hit. Okay. Now, I need to get back in on the cap as soon as is physically possible without getting lit of course and sunk so i'm going to take a quite a safe wide route round because they haven't capped yet and it's going to take them over a minute to cap so and the second you enter the cap you block their capping so bear that in mind you can stall a cap especially when you've got 5.4 kilometer concealment i mean good god uh just be aware of Hydro, be aware of the fact that ships can see you with Hydro, and of course Radar, but we don't need to worry about that, do we? No, because uh, the Donsky has kind of left the field, as it were. So what's the Johan doing? He's kind of hanging on that corner. I'm hoping there's... Oh, he's pushing forward. He's got me lit. He's going aggressive. Straight into my torpedoes. 
what could possibly go wrong, right? I don't think he saw those. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> That's three hit. I love it when they go aggressive. By all means, push into my torpedoes. That's fine by me. Especially when I lay a tight spread like that. Okay, so there's just two of us now against the Fertigross. And the Fertigross is on cap. So I need to turn around, get on cap, find the Fertigross, and sink her. I suspect he's probably healing up as we speak. And the rune has finally grown a spine and is coming back down to the cap with me. Although I don't blame him. I don't blame him. It's a cruiser. It's a, it's a floating capital, isn't it? Um, I'd have appreciated a little bit more support where it matters, but he's played well. He's played all right. He's still alive, so he's doing something right, right? Mr. Long Range Support, that's you, sir. Further gross is soon to be my prey. <laughs> my prey. Fine. I can't believe how well the Jaeger has performed in this. I, I, I didn't really see the Jaeger as a ranked torpedo boat for ranked matches, but you know what? She's pretty good. And what I've done there is, notice he's pushing into two pickups, two buffs. I've put the torpedoes in front of him quite a considerable way because I think he's going to accelerate. I think he's going to go and pick that one up. I think he's going to go and pick up the reload buff. And I think he's pushing hard to... Yes, he is. He's accelerating into my torpedo wall. Perfect. So, boom. What a game. <laughs> what a game. Okay, so I can thoroughly recommend the Jaeger if you know how to play mind games with the opposition and you know how to use her. She's a great ship. She really is. Um, I'd be lying if I didn't say I was extremely satisfied with that result. So, okay. All right. Okay, so how did we do? 23 torpedo hits, 11 floodings, 4 sinkings, 150,708 damage, wow. Almost a million credits made, oh uh, wow, how would we do on the team? Yeah, of course, 2k, 2k XP, uh, 74,000 on the Mizashi, 26,000 on the Fedegross, 24,000 on the Pommern, 15,000 on the Johan de Witt, and 9,000 9, on the Adriatico. Uh-huh. So he ate a torpedo or two, didn't he? Okay, that I like. And let's have a look. Um, flood damage, 30, 30k flood damage. Wow. You see, flooding is, is the bread and butter. If you want that extra bit of damage, flooding's where it's at. Okay, so I had a 40% credit modifier on for that match, and I still earned, after, discount, after deduction, 756,000 credits. Oh my goodness. Uh, ship XP was amazing. 13,864 and 21,000 Commander XP. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This has been Patch 12.8 World of Warships. My name's Lone Gun. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.